It's five o'clock somewhere, which means I'm ready to talk to another friend and drink tequila. It kind of got out of hand. Ooh, ooh baby. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here talking with my best friend, Dan. I'm drinking tequila, Espelon, Espelon. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking Jameson. <laughs> so, Dan, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm hanging in there. I'm doing good. Good. What have you been doing in, uh, during the quarantine? Um, a whole lot of nothing. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I've reached the end of Netflix, the end of Hulu. So I'm like, over all that. Um, no, I mean, that's really all I've been doing. Just like watching a bunch of things, like catching up on TV. I've been like chatting with people like crazy. I'm like not normally uh, like a <laughs> FaceTimer or a phone caller, as you know, but I've, I feel like I've spent so much time on the phone. Um, but besides that, that and cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, yeah, is, your that's house, like, is the house the cleanest it's ever been? No, no, because I like clean, especially the dishes. I used to love doing dishes, but no, I like clean. I do everything. And then I like make dinner or something. And I'm like, eh, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> How is it being alone? I know you're, you know, without someone else there with you. Yeah. You know, it's so funny because everybody has been so concerned about me and like being lonely and stuff. Like, oh my gosh, my parents have been crazy. I am thriving. Like, but you know, like I'm a homebody as it is. So, yeah. like for me, like being alone for this amount of time, like, is perfection. But like, oh. I like I said, I've been doing it for a while, and I'm like very comfortable with me and who I am. Like, I I know so many people, and I, I hate to say this, but I know people who like, and you can tell who hate themselves, and that's why they like <laughs> keep themselves busy and like go and do stuff and stuff. Yeah. And now those people are stuck at home and they have nothing to do but like focus on like who they are as people. So I know people are like really struggling with it, but yeah, no, I know. But you know, at the same time, I, I've li I've been loving all these memes, all the extroverts have been posting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, it's incredible. <laughs> it's like my, one of my heroes, one of them says like, um, I'm sorry to everyone else. I didn't realize after spending this much time with me, how awful of a human being I am. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, like the comedic gold that's coming out of this, like it, it's that like those little things during the day that you need to like keep your spirits up. I'm so thankful for that stuff because I like find myself like waking up in the morning. And a lot of times I know like, I, I got into the habit of like checking the news and being like, oh, what's what mm -hmm. new is going on? But it's always so depressing. It's so terrible. So that's why like it's it's so great, like the people making these memes and stuff. Cause I like now <laughs> wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is like check Facebook and like scroll through. And it's just I'm like laughing first thing in the morning. It's the best. I know. It I it definitely helps to keep it light because I would say it's amazing how much like your mood can change in one day. Absolutely. And, like, way too aware of it now after a straight month of being inside most of the time. Well, because there's nothing else to do but, like, focus on the, like, the, the news, which is all just negative. And that really, like, can bring you down. It's, I, like, I feel bad. I feel bad for a lot of people who, like, have a hard time focusing on the positivity. And know. they, like, get, like, you know, enveloped in right. just the negative no, absolutely. And that's why I wanted to FaceTime my friend, FaceTime people, and drink with them. So, Oh, my gosh. No, this is so, Wait, no, wait. I have to pour mine. I have to pour you mine pour still. That? No, but I love this. I, it, I think this is such a good idea. Yay. Because <laughs> there is. I feel like there's, like, there's enough negative nonsense out there. Like, we get it. There's a pandemic. Like, not to take away yeah. from that. But, like, people need goodness in their lives. So cheers we to you for doing laugh. some goodness. Cheers to you. Cheers. Too. My favorite. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ooh, Ooh baby. Tequila. That is okay. much needed, let me tell you. Okay, what's your go-to food right now? Uh, I am a terrible cook, so anything quick and easy. So I've been making a lot of pasta, like with like a, like a jar sauce. Perfect. 
you yeah. love your carbs in general. So. <laughs> I do love my carbs. Love carb. carb too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what's your go-to drink? You would say? Um, so like I mean, basically, I'm non-alcoholic. I've only been drinking water. Alcoholic, I've been drinking bourbon, um, and I've had the occasional red wine. Okay. All right. And um, what a, what's your average sleep hours? What are your average sleep hours like now? Oh, my gosh. It's, like, I'm so glad that you asked that because out of everything <laughs> that's, like, been, like, fucked up, like, with me during all of this, my sleep schedule is so messed up. I'm sleeping, like, like. 5 a.m. to like 1 or 2 p.m. Oh and I like don't mean to. I, I, I've, yes, I've been trying to go to bed early and I lay there for hours. I am unable to go to sleep. And I, I'm sure it's because I'm like sleeping in so late, but well, it's, no, that's been bored. so wonky. To me, like the least amount of stuff I do in a day or the less I do in a day, the more I don't want to go to sleep because it's like, yeah, what else actually. Did I do? Why not just be awake? That's how I feel like my body reacts to it. <laughs> totally. Well, and it's it's funny because I've always been a night owl, but now that my body is like has this time to like adjust to what it wants to do, it legitimately mm -hmm. just wants to be up all night. Yeah. <laughs> like, like am I a vampire? Owl. I'm unsure. Maybe. Unsure. Yeah. I could be. Oh, yeah, we'll find problem. out after quarantine. You never know. Once I'm allowed <laughs> to be out in the sun. We'll find out if I sparkle or not. That's true. <laughs> Ooh, I hope you sparkle at the least. <laughs> I hope that I don't. I wouldn't want to be one of those kind of vampires. I want to just, I want to like burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like the Buffy <clears throat> vampire slayer vampire. Yes, absolutely. Except no, mm -hmm. because no, I actually take that back because they're so ugly. <laughs> That's well, they have their TV like show, little right? faces. It's my absolute favorite TV show. I've seen the whole series so many times. <laughs> Oh, so many times. Sorry, I'm hijacking this. What's the next question? No, that's the point. <laughs> I'm just looking at what was ne what was my next question. Okay, if um if and probably when this happens again, what do you want or what do you wish would be different in your life next time? Um, I I wouldn't want to be stuck in my apartment now. I as as like much as I like being alone. The apartment is really small. I mean, I'm really playing with like four to five hundred square feet here. Yeah. So it's like real. It's it hasn't gone to me yet, but I like have a feeling it will eventually. I would like to like maybe given enough time in advance, like grab a friend or two, and like go upstate to my parents' house and like kind of like get out of like the epicenter of everything. Um. Yeah. But mainly, it's just like the space. I'd like to have just a little bit more space. Yeah, I would I agree think. with that. Because other yeah. than that, like, I, luckily, I feel like I've been really well prepared. I, like, mm -hmm. I believed it when it was, like, starting, unlike right. a lot of people. So, like, I was able to, like, n not stock up, but get the things I need, like, so I didn't have to go out as people were, like, panic buying. And I feel like yeah, that, that helped me. It, mm -hmm. it was scary just because there's there was no need for it. Because yeah. it wasn't like people weren't allowed to leave their place or like it was the end of the world. It was just like you should stay at home, but you could still go to the store when you needed the toilet paper yeah. or like go to the store yeah, when you, you needed the groceries. Know. Like when this was first starting, you just didn't know. Like I still remember the first day it got crazy in the grocery store and I was like, all of a sudden, like what happened? Why is there like all of a sudden 50 people here at nine in the morning? You know? Yeah, I mean, I've never in my life waited in a line to get inside of a grocery store. Yeah, the Hershey it's store in Times Square at Christmas, absolutely. Yes. But like a grocery yes. store, <laughs> no. I only did that because friends were in town. I don't normally go to the Hershey store. Let me just <laughs> clarify. But no, it was like, it was crazy. And then it just like, it was, because I don't want to like get negative about stuff. But like, it was like, the people were so aggressive. I've just never seen something like it in my life. So that's why like, I'm glad, you know, I, I believed everything and like prepared, I think enough in advance. I still have the toilet paper I bought when I was still working weeks ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's yeah, like, definitely helped. yeah. And I didn't buy a yeah. ton. I just, you know, I one person. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that definitely helped. You know what I mean? I didn't need yeah. 50 rolls of toilet paper. I know. Nobody goes through it like that. Well, you certainly don't. My, no. my, gran my grandfather 
or my grandfather, my great uncle is my grandmother's brother. Um, okay. He was, uh, we, we FaceTimed him the other day and he was really excited with the fact that he took two weeks to go through one roll of toilet paper. And I was like, Oh my goodness. Um, Does he use toilet <laughs> paper every time? Cause I feel like that's, <laughs> That definitely was a, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know if it's like two weeks, but. Right, I know, like, it's, it's okay, like, there's more. <laughs> okay. You know, I, you know what, but know, each but... their own, like, who knows? Well, it's definitely, it's hard. I don't know. He's, um, 90, I think he's 93. Oh my gosh. He, yeah, just, and he lives in a retirement or, you know, like a. Like a it's community. Not an old folks home, but yeah, a community. Yeah. Place. My grandma uh, lives in one too. Apartment room style, or apartment building style, mm. and um, and they're not allowed to leave except for to walk around the halls. Like they can't leave out the building. If they leave oh, out wow. the building, then they have to quarantine themselves in their home for two weeks. Even if they that's just smart though. Them. Well, because that was one of my big concerns with my grandma, because she lives in one of those communities too, where everybody is older. And I'm like, if literally one person gets it, I was like, that whole community is going to be devastated by yeah. what happens to it so and then I feel like that's like one of the things like through all of this is like people like us mm-hmm. who are less at risk like we're not necessarily like worrying for ourselves we're worrying for our you know our families our you know the older people in our lives or just you know the other exactly. people that we know like yeah and that's and that's like a different kind of like stressor yeah, I feel and like just, and being smart ourselves yeah I mean and I mean I feel like you were very much like me like we kind of mm-hmm. not caught wind of it because everybody like heard about it but I feel yeah. like we took it serious a lot a little earlier yeah. yeah and so that's why like we're not necessarily worried about ourselves like we are in the yeah. terms of like you know let's not get it like that won't be fun but no that would be awful because who knows no. I mean, in all honesty it's like you don't know how it affects different people yet so I totally healthy and still, you know, get really sick from it. So yeah, I mean, there's um, like scary stories everywhere. I mean, honestly, yeah. everyone just needs to be safe and healthy and stay home. I feel like we've been worried about ourselves, but like we should act like we're a hundred years old, like literally like one foot in the grave, but like act like that so that we still ourselves don't get it and worry about the same, you know, everyone else in the same sense. And then everyone's gonna be happy and healthy and at home and we'll come out the better right we're exactly. like gonna come out of this the other side better I we, agree. you know everyone yeah. just has to it, honestly this is the time where personal accountability is so important right because like you got to mm-hmm. stay home and that you can't monitor everyone so everyone just needs to take the responsibility take themselves, themselves and stay home yeah I and honestly there great. are worse things than staying at home how often how much of us bitch every day we're like uh we have to go to work i wish we could just stay home while shibing shaboom no i know like it's a, it's gonna be okay <laughs> well the thing is like in. and it sounds so sick but it's it once i say it, you'll so i'm just like enjoy this time only in the sense of like there's a global pandemic ripping across the world and that's yeah. awful you have to find the silver lining you have to stay you have to try to stay positive anyway. So like, enjoy this time, enjoy the time that you have to like, be able to reconnect with family, whether that's in person or, you know, via video call. But like at this time, no other time is like people not been doing stuff. I know. You, can, you, you know, you get to reconnect with people. You get to stay home, you get to rest, you get to relax. And then we do all this ends and we come out the other side mm-hmm. and we're all stronger and like ready to like make everything boom. And that's what I'm hoping for. I agree. And based on everything you just said right there, what are you most thankful for right now? You know, it's funny. I didn't realize, like, you you have so many people in your life, but it's, like, a moment like this, like, where I'm not able to, like, see these people. It, I'm really grateful for the people who, like, still consistently are checking in and being, like, are you okay? And it, yeah. and I say that because like, it's, I've gotten a lot of like check-ins from people I didn't expect to just like, even like some like more, not distant family, but like family I don't talk to every day or that maybe yeah. I see once or twice a year. It's just, you know, it's nice to see the amount of people who like, you don't need to be with somebody for them to 
care about you or for you to care about them. And like, I'm really thankful for like, I feel like a lot of that has like come to light. Yeah. You know, and it's not even just in my own life, like just seeing on, you know, the news or on Facebook or Instagram or or just people like being there for each other, Mm -hmm. you know, during these times. And like, I, I, I'm really grateful for that. It kind of like re sparked my faith in humanity as corny as that sounds. (laughs) No, I totally get it. You know, there's all these things at the beginning where I was like, I need to be on this schedule. I need to be doing this, 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 this. But actually the times FaceTiming um, or, you know, whatever video chat we use, it's been so nice to talk to family. I, I don't normally do that with. And whether it's I see them once a year, like you said, it's just, it's like, why don't we do these things more often? And this is exactly. kind of making you really think about caring and being there for the people in your life that are important to you. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a weird, in a weird way, the pandemic has, like, stripped away all of the, like, dumb shit that mm-hmm. you normally think bogs down your life but isn't essential because now's the time that you are reconnecting with people because people have right. nothing else to do. There's nothing else bothering them or, mm-hmm. like, you know, chirping in their ear or responsibilities or, like, with yeah. this. And you, like, really get to see, like, with everything else stripped away, like, what actually matters and who actually matters. And that's, it's crazy. Like, it's sad that it took a pandemic for, like, everyone to realize, like, what actually is important in life. Yeah, Um, I agree. But, like, in a way, I'm I'm not glad it happened, but I'm glad that, like, this is coming out of it. You know, especially, like, I mean, how many memes have you seen of, like, you know, people have put so much stock in, like, celebrities and politicians and this. And it's, like, no, like, the people who are important are these essential workers who are also, like, going home with, like, $200 a week and, like, can't afford to live. Like, you know, I think it's really putting a light on, like, what is important in life and what has kind of gotten out of control and what we are kind of deeming as important that isn't really. I completely agree. And um, I was talking with my sister, I think last night or yesterday about this. Yeah, it was Easter. Um, She was saying how, because she works in the entertainment industry, how there's actually been kind of a backlash towards a lot of celebrities who are posting, like, just kind of stupid videos or posting these stupid comments about, like, oh, life is tough. And people are reacting like, oh, really? Life is tough for you in your mansion? (laughs) Um, Yeah. But... And I just, I hope that it's not as much of a, uh, it makes people, I hope, think less about wanting that kind of life and just wanting whatever life you can create for yourself or being so obsessed with like, oh my God, I want to be like this person. Well, actually you don't, you want to be like the people you're around, the people you love and just be like yourself. Yeah. You know? No. And you, you know, it's funny cause I have a, I I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts about those like insensitive videos or insensitive comments from celebrities because Mm -hmm. I do think in a, in a way that they are out of touch with the like daily lives of an American. Um, But also in the same sense, I, I think it's important because I don't uh, like, uh, like say for instance, like uh, Ellen's comment about how like being stuck at home is like being in jail. Yeah. Like, yeah, like she has this, you know, whatever thousand square foot mansion Mm -hmm. and people like in a place like mine are like stressed out being like, what do you mean? That's for her, though. You know, it probably does feel like a joke and like and that is insensitive to other people who, you know, whatever. But But that is her life. No, totally. But but the thing is, like, you know, Ellen could literally have like the mental feeling like she actually isn't a jail cell and I think it's I feel like this is like really showing that like like stuff like that like a giant house that you know what you could have everything Mm -hmm. having all that doesn't necessarily make you happy and in a situation like this it's clearly not like regardless of it's insensitive like it still is weighing like say on Ellen like that's so hard so I hope that just makes people not be so like materialistic in that sense and try to get yeah. that because that's not going to make them happy now. I hope it's like the connections and like, you know, being with people and like doing something like this, this is incredible. This is like so yeah. great to be able to like sit here and like chat <laughs> with you and like do all this. Like this is what's it's important. Be fun. Yeah. A big house is great, but this actually makes you feel something. I agree. 
Well, I love you. Cheers. I love you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Oh my gosh, you're like getting me drunk. I love this. Bye.